what's in the dark always comes to light. It happens. Sometimes it takes a while for things to come out, the truth. And I just had like the third or fourth person come forward and tell somebody uh, that was close to me or me that Roy was the one who provoked Gary Whipple and them into making my uncle Richard's house look like it does or like it did when they stayed there. He encouraged them to trash my uncle's house. Now, this from the person that I, you know, he, at first, he claimed he wanted the house. And I told him, there's no problem with that. You can have the house if you pay the mortgage, which was like $235 a month, something like that. Which is nothing if, you know, because he works. It wasn't a big deal to me. He got so mad and nasty, he left the house. He took all my uncle's stuff. Didn't even leave him a fork. Not even a fork to eat with. He took everything. All my uncle's stuff and his. And he turned around. He put my uncle's and my aunt's wedding dress on the ground like it was trash. And did a whole bunch of other stuff to this house, right? And then he has the nerve to act like he cares about his dad. Roy never came to see his dad. My, I had Uncle Richard for a very long time before he died. And Roy never came and offered help. Every time Roy came, he would be cool for a minute, and then he'd start a bunch of crap. Every single time. And that's how it goes with Betty, Stephanie, David, um, also Heather, all these guys. So I don't mess with them. Same with DJ and Cassandra. I don't mess with any of these guys. I never have because, you know, it's pretty easy to spot people that are troublemakers. Once you figure out somebody's a troublemaker, you stay away from them. I used to love the crap out of Roy until I started seeing what he, how he was treating other people. And then he started treating me like he was treating other people. I said, oh, geez, I got to get out of here. And I meant that because he um, he's terrible. The stuff I've seen Roy do and how he treated people is horrific, especially the way he treats women. And so, for people to sit here and to try to think that he is a nice person, hmm. especially when I had people come back to me after my Uncle Richard came with me, thanking me because of how badly they saw Roy treat my uncle. That's real. So, don't let him give you the illusion that he was such a wonderful uh, son. Because that's not the truth. And I pray... That he comes clean about how badly he really treated my uncle. Because my uncle literally begged CPS, crying in tears, to not send him back to Roy. That should tell you something. Have a blessed day, and God bless America.